Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here, and I'm going to do some uh, coverage of the Indigo Games tournament for Rome Total War, and uh, we shall see what happens. Now, this is a matchup between Heracleus and P-Dog, so I don't know the, uh, I don't know who wins this uh, match, but I do know who wins the outcome of these uh, two players, because apparently they play uh, best two out of three or something like that. I'm not really sure about the uh, exact details. Um, Patrick did send me the uh, the replays, and I didn't quite get all the information I needed. But this is round one from the Indigo Games tournament, and uh, Patrick does promise to send me uh, more replays from the tournament too. So we should see uh, more action from that event. So obviously we are looking at the Observer. That's uh, Mango. And uh, this observer will be commanding peasants from Spain. All right, so the match has started. So uh, Heracleus will command the SPQR Romans, and P Dog of the Indigo Clan will be commanding the Brutii. So let's go look at the uh, army set up here of Heracleus. So I see a lot of Roman archers, probably six, and then two archer auxilia. Then we have two legionary cav, and then six Praetorian cav. The general is a Praetorian Cav. Let's go look at the army of the Brutii P Dog. Let's go look at the setup here. So, obviously, a lot of uh, archers here. I want to say uh, six Roman archers. Oh, there's going to be some action over here. Heracles has struck first blood. He has drawn blood from these archers. No response from P Dog. There is a response. It's kind of late, though. So it looks like two Archer Auxilia, six Roman Archers, and this guy actually brought some heavy infantry in the form of two Urban Cohorts, but no upgrades on him. Um, then we have, uh, I guess, two Legionary Cav. Hold on. Three. Four, five, six. I don't know. Six Praetorian Cav for sure, and then maybe one Legionary Cav, perhaps. But Heracles has done very well striking first blood against these archers. These archers might still come back though. There's still 25 left. But that was a really good strike from Heracles. And as I predicted, the archers did come back. Now I always like looking at people who use historical names. Heracles is a very historical name. One of my uh, favorite uh, late what Eastern uh, Roman commanders. Eastern Roman Empire. Heracleus. So I guess you could say the uh, derivative name would be uh, Hercules, but it's not the same Hercules that most people know. Or maybe it is. I can never assume what people know and don't know, and what people are thinking, because uh, Heracleus was a very, uh, not a common name, but there was more than one historical figure wielding this name. But enough about that, uh, they are content to be skirmishing now. If I was Heracleus, I'd definitely be content because he has already struck first blood. Now this unit of Roman archers are getting hacked to pieces by these uh, Brutii Roman archers. But on the other hand, Heracles' other Roman archers are doing pretty well right now. So I would say Purple is doing very well in the skirmish phase. Uh, Brutii needs to uh, get some kind of counter-strike going. He can't let this uh, sit like this. Because if it does, then Heracleus will uh, sit well with a uh, archer advantage. And it looks like Heracleus wants to cause a uh, cav fight, but no, he pulled back. He does have the advantage in cav in this sector, uh, but he kind of backed off when he saw these uh, urbans coming in. Although these urbans are not upgraded. Who knows how much of a difference it would make in a cat fight. Alright, so now P-Dog is going to threaten to start a fight, but nope. He's going to pull back. Now, Heracles is going to come back with another cav strike here with his legionary cav, and he's going to strike more blood against the P-Dog. I wonder if the P and P-Dog stands for Praetorian. The Praetorian Dog. Or maybe... What else starts with the P? Polybian Dog. I don't know. But he's doing very well right now, Heracleus. So, a lot of times in the skirmish phase, you're going to see a lot of uh, cav feints. 
Sometimes you want to provoke the cab fight, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just want to pull the enemy cab away from the rest of their troops. Maybe draw them out of position. There's a lot of reasons why you would do a cav feint. This one looks to be like a committed one here. Let's see if he pulls back. No, he's gonna go in for it. Oh, he put and he stops. I was gonna say this unit of urbans are pretty isolated, but who knows how fast uh, P Dog can come back if uh, Heracles came in for a charge on these urbans and wiped them out immediately. Who knows? Oh, we got another calf strike from Heracles here. Oh, sorry for the lag, guys. By the way, this is live commentary. I don't know who wins this matchup, but right now it looks like uh, Purple has a great advantage, and he has just taken out a unit of urbans right here. That was what I was worried about, having those non-upgraded urbans. Oh, now there's a big calf fight here. Uh, Purple doesn't have the best um, maneuvering on him, but there are four against three, so it, it is a pretty good odd. And over on this sector, uh, looks like Purple also has the cab edge. Brutii has just lost his general, the though. The warlord of the enemy army is and running Purple like a has startled goat. a routing commander. Goats make good eating. I still want to think that Purple has a pretty good edge in this fight. He struck so much uh, cab down. Yeah, it looks like Brutii is on the uh, offensive here. If he wanted to, he could take out this unit of Archer Auxilia. But he's gonna go for gold here. He's gonna take out this whole clod of Roman archers. And now he's gonna turn and try to take out the enemy Praetorian Cav. Let's see what happens. This could be the end of the fight right here. If he could take out all this uh, purple Cav. Oh, they are definitely going for it right now, guys. Definitely going for it. And... Let's, let's get a zoom in. I see some purple routing here. So it does look like P Dog is actually winning this fight, which is strange because earlier Purple was winning. How on earth did that happen? Heracles started off so well in this fight, but now it looks like P Dog is going to clean up here. I really thought Heracles had this in the bag. I really did think he had it in the bag. Start off well, but in Rome Total War, in the blink of an eye, Things can change just like that. This is a good example of how things can change drastically. And this is going to be the end of the fight. The Observer is still in the matchup. So uh, P Dog won this match. Now, in the. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's best two out of three, but P Dog did win this matchup two to one over Heracleus. I gotta say, Heracleus played extremely well in this matchup. He played extremely well. But in the end, P-Dog was able to pull the Cav Edge over over uh, Heracleus, and uh, P-Dog was uh, victorious in this matchup. And again, this was a round one um, look at the Indigo Games Tournament. I'm sure there are many other uh, battles in round one, but this is the uh, replay I was sent. And again, uh, P-Dog did win this series uh, two to one against Heracleus. And uh, Patrick will be sending more replays from the uh, the next round, I believe, and I can show you more action from the Indigo Games tournament. As for now, great game to uh, both commanders here. Thank you, Patrick, for sending me the replays. Always great to have more uh, material for my uh, for my commentaries, and always great to show other people playing this uh, game, not just myself. Obviously, I like to play too, but yes, thank you guys for watching.